Hi, and welcome back to MyExcelOnline.com. Today, we are going to go over how to use Microsoft Project in under three minutes. If you want to learn more about Microsoft Excel and Office, join our Academy online course and access more than a thousand video training tutorials so that you can advance your level and get the promotions, pay raises, or new jobs. The link to join our Academy online course is in the description. So here I am in Microsoft Project. I'm going to go here to blank project and begin a new project. Now once I'm inside of Microsoft Project, you can see that I have several columns over here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to enter in several tasks. And the project I'm going to enter tasks for is making a video. So first I'm going to do research what people want to see. And then my next task is going to be outline video. And then my next task is going to be run a test for feasibility. Then I'm going to record the video and then I'm going to edit the video and then I'm going to post the video. So these are my basic steps that I would do to create a video. So researching what people would want to see. Let's say that that takes half an hour. So I'm just going to say 0.5 H. And how long is it going to take me to outline my video? Let's say that's going to take another half an hour. Running the test for feasibility takes half an hour. Recording the video will take half an hour. Editing the video is going to take an hour and a half. And posting the video, let's say that takes another half an hour. If you are liking this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button to get notified when we release our weekly videos. So because I have everything in hours, I'm going to double click here and go over to my bottom tier and just change this to hours instead of days and say OK. And you can see that my time has automatically plotted, but there's an issue here. Every one of these steps needs to happen before the previous step. So that's what these predecessors are right here. So right here, I can't outline my video until I research what I think people might want to see. So if I look up here, this is step one. So my predecessor here needs to be step one. And you can see when I put that in that it automatically adjusts right here. So my predecessor here is going to be, you can see it up here, step two. And then for this one, I'm going to put step three, step four, and step five. And you can see that my Gantt chart has been adjusted accordingly. And of course, I can come and I can adjust the format of my Gantt chart. I can add steps into my process. I can add another step at the end. But I just wanted to give you a quick overview of what it's like to put in tasks inside of Microsoft Project, put in how much time it's going to take, put in your predecessors, and let you see that you can quickly build a Gantt chart. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and we'll get back to you. As always, thanks for watching and see you again next time. If you want to learn more about Microsoft Excel and Office, join our Academy online course and access more than a thousand video training tutorials so that you can advance your level and get the promotions, pay raises, or new jobs. The link to join our Academy online course is in the description. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you're really serious about advancing your Microsoft Excel skills so you can stand out from the crowd and get the jobs, promotion and pay rises that you deserve then click up here and join our academy online course today